Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back. This evening I'm going to be trying, uh, this is a new offering, I'm not sure it's released or not yet. Uh, if it is, there'll be a link in the description below. The menthol dots from Vanulay. I did have the first run that were, I want to say like kind of almost nickel size for those familiar with the US currency. Um, I didn't feel any menthol with those. Couldn't even smell the menthol when I opened it. These, on the other hand, are significantly smaller. You can see one of the dots has been kind of a little squished there. But those are the dots there. When I took one out of the pack package, I could smell the menthol. So already that's a good thing. The soap, if you've seen the thumbnail, is HCNC. Uh, this is their legacy base. Still phenomenal base. Love it. The scent I'm using is Florida Sunshine because it's February, it's cold, it snowed today. I wish I were in Florida, and hence the menthol and beautiful scent there. The eraser is going to be the TRC, um, I think this is the aluminum. And the brush is the Craving Shaving uh, DNA. I'm not sure what's in there. So I started off with my usual amount of HCNC, although I may have added a little bit too much water in to begin with, we'll see. And uh, then one little menthol dot. This is a fairly large amount on it, so we'll see. Okay, consistency of the soap is not bad. Could be a little thicker. But again, I think that's user error, not anything on the soap. I, mean, I know it's not the soap, I've used the soap plenty of times. I should add a little bit too much water to begin with. I can smell the menthol. And I can sm still smell the soap, but the menthol is a little overpowering. I did only do four drops of the, uh, the scent. I might have to add more for subsequent passes. All right. Already, I can feel the menthol. It is not yet overpowering. It's a nice balance of cool. So definitely a vast improvement over the first run. Uh, this is a brand new, I think, chromium or RK stainless steel blade. If you haven't tried the TRC razor, it is very mild yet very efficient. I really like this razor a lot. No surprised uh, how much I like it actually. Not because I didn't doubt the quality. I know because it does the quality of the razor, it's because it's kind of that medium, mild type razor. And I tend to prefer more aggressive. But Jason, there is a company managed to have a sweet spot with this. I think you feel the menthol. It is not to the level of freeze your face off, but it's definitely present uh, a lot more than the first run. Uh, Viv Monica said that she doubled the menthol in here. Yeah, menthol double dots, if you can see that. So double what was originally in the, the first run. which I didn't care for the first run. There was nothing there. At least not for me. Uh, in fact, we're gonna use the second, the second dot of the menthol dots, of the first ones. I added in four drops of terror. Still wasn't cold enough. 
All right, the scent on this isn't strong enough. I did four, so I'm gonna add in two, three, four more. The scent your own. I love the scent your own. Uh, I've always been a proponent of that with HC and C. But one thing to keep in mind is it's easier to start off weak and then add more. So start off with three, four drops. You can put the put the lather or the drops in either with the hard soap in uh, in your bowl or after you've lathered it or both like I just did. It's fine, perfectly fine. Works just as well either way. Right, there we go. Don't need that on my ear lobe. And I don't think I re-wetted my face after that first pass. Either way. Okay, I can definitely smell the uh, the soap or the scent of the Florida Sunshine a little more. Brilliant scent. Uh, scent will also be here on the screens that come over there. All right, this is a good balance of menthol. Not too cold, but definitely noticeable. And I know the strength of menthol can be very subjective. Some people want to freeze your face off, like Terror or uh, from Bear Stirred Man, or the Glacial from Sterling. Are these dots going to put yourself on the same level as a Glacial Soap from Sterling, or something with like terror no they're, they're just not oh did I get myself oh. no just a weird shadow on my viewfinder anyway cold water that feels really good on on the face as well kind of reactivate that residual menthol in there so is this going to freeze your face off cold? No, it's not. Now, if you have the menthol dots from Vanulay and you have Terror Aid or the Chilmo from PAA or Chell or any of the other synthetic additives for menthol or menthol itself. Could you kick it up a notch? Yeah. We already have those. Do you need this? Probably not. It is nice to have options. As well, and this is definitely a controlled menthol feel to it for an additive. Where the other ones are very subjective to how much you use. This is a very controlled, you get this amount, boom, you're done. Unless, of course, your menthol does get squished in transit and squished together. I mean, yes, with Terror Aid, could you do two drops and two drops every time? Yes, you can. With the Chill Milk, can you do two twists or you know, whatever every time? Yes, you can. Is one better than the other? Oh, 
Well, it's going to vary. You depend on who you talk to. Do I like this version of menthol dots a lot more? Absolutely. Is this going to replace any of the other menthol additives I have? No. Have I found the perfect additive for menthol? No. I like them all for various reasons. They each have their place. It's like, it's like shave soap or brushes or razors. We have multiples. Because it depends on what you want to use that day. So, is this something, when Monica did send this to me, I had to try out in this sample pack. I need to put that out there as well. Um, are these something that I would buy? I can definitely consider it, depending on the price point. Again, I was a bad, bad YouTuber and didn't look up the price. Set notes for all any of that stuff beforehand. But that's okay. That's why you have pop ups on the screen. That was excellent. All right, now, quick cold water rinse. Let me see how the menthol feels afterwards. This was good. Not super cold, but refreshing. Uh, this is definitely something that on a very cold February day like today, uh, in my little nuts doing this. Can I recommend these menthol dots from Vanule? For the right use case, yes. Um, again, I can say the same thing about Chell from PAA, the Chill Mill from PAA, Terror Aid from uh, Barrister and Man. I'm spacing the the name of the one that uh, HCNC has that will pop up here as well. They all have their place. They all do the same thing in a different way. Uh, so they're all definitely good to have in the den if you like variety. And, and if you're watching this channel, you know how many razors do you have sitting in in your bathroom or wherever you shave, how many brushes do you have, how many soaps do you have? Do you need more than one? Probably not. Do you want more than one? Most likely. So with that in mind, uh, I do like the mentholated dots from Vanilla, the double dose. Don't get the singles if those are available. I definitely do the double menthol dots. It has a nice, definitely noticeable uh, menthol feel to it, but not overpowering. Nothing that's going to freeze your face off, as it were, would probably be very refreshing on a very hot summer day. So with that said, uh, probably next thing on camera will be on a hot summer day, uh, just to see how, they, how it compares. So anyway, before I ramble on too much longer, thank you all for tuning in. Uh, thank you for the support during this sporadic upload time as I'm still working through my stupid, wonderful back and other issues. So thank you all again for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys next time.